Everybody say hi to the vlog. If you are in the first minute of the live, you're going to be on the vlog. <laughs> it's going to be a weird time warp, but hi. Where's everybody tuning in from? Make sure you type where you're tuning in from. You guys know the drill. Hi, Larry. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Michelle. Susanna. Jeff. Sup, party people. <laughs> Clearwater, Florida. How's everybody doing? Hi, Felix Cat. You're in LA. Nice. Hi, Daniela. Hi, Kara. Elizabeth, Salt Lake. Hi from Michigan. Hello. Atlanta. Hi, everybody. Okay. Ooh, I just hit my head. Oh my gosh, here goes the chat. Now it's going to be way too fast. Oregon, Arizona. Hi, Trey. Hi, Christian. My brother's in the chat. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, I'm turning the vlog off. So here is the last of you guys being on video, if you're on live right now. Okay. Hi, 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 everybody. Houston. Hi from the UK. Christian's here to troll. He always is. And that's on family. So. There's so many of you guys in Texas. I miss Texas. Hi from Australia. Louisiana, Montana. Hope you got my good side. You're funny. Idaho. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to get back in Idaho. Scotland. Sweden. Canada. Oh my gosh. You guys are everywhere. New roof. Okay, you guys. I'm not in Poe. I am not in Poe right now. So we'll talk about all of that. I'm just going to give everyone kind of a minute to get on. Because it always takes everybody a sec. Where's Blue? He's right here. Let me move my feet out of the way. So. There's Bub. I'm not cheating on Poe. I'll get in I'll get into where he is and like give me like three minutes and then I'll tell you guys the story. Just wanna catch up for a sec. Hi guys. Hi from Caldwell, Idaho. You turned 48. Happy birthday. Nashville. Scarlett, it's your first time in a live? Hi. Welcome to the chaos. We're also uh, cooking tonight on live, you guys, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a wee bit, you guys know how it went last time, so. We'll do that on, like, the second half of the live, though. Oh, Lord. Come to Seattle. I'll be in Seattle this summer. Although, I probably shouldn't put my plans out there, so maybe I won't be. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Maria, how am I supposed to st stay safe if I just say everything? What are we cooking? We are cooking shrimp tacos tonight. And I don't know how to cook them, so I am fully relying on you guys as an audience to walk me through it. Where's Blue? Blue's right here. I feel like there's like one too many lights on. Oh! There, is that a little better? Can you give a mini tour? I will. I will. I will. Okay. So I guess let me just get into what's going on. Um, I think I, I said this in the last video, but Poe is having some work done right now and actually um, needed more work done than I thought. He needed new wheel bearings and an entire swivel ball replacement. I thought it was just a seal. It wasn't. It was a lot more intense than that. So Poe is in the shop getting fixed along with some other surprises, but he is also getting a lot of maintenance stuff done to him. So, um, while he's in the shop for however long, several days, I was given this lender vehicle. Oh my gosh. Forgot it was touched. <laughs> um, I was given this lender vehicle to take out and camp in. So it's a Toyota Tacoma with an alu cab conversion. You guys look at this. I can stand up. 
I can't eat. I'm not even close to touching the ceiling. This thing is so sick. So hold on, let me, how do I? So this is uh, the bed. Also, I don't want to get too into it because I'm filming all of this and I kind of wanted it to be like half a surprise on video, but whatever. You guys can act surprised on video. Here's the downstairs. So that's like the upstairs bed. And then you come down and I have like the grow out charging stuff, my cooking stuff over here. And then the rest of my crap all over here. And then blue sif. So I'm just sitting on the downstairs section right now. Um, and then, yeah. It's, this Alucab conversion is so sick. Hi, Matt. Um, so it's, it's really cool to see it on a Tacoma too. I love all of these like interior lights, these touch, touch bar lights. Oh my gosh. These are so bright. Holy cow. <laughs> um, please stop whining. This dog is full of energy and being a menace tonight. So yeah, anyways, um, it's a super sick setup. I feel really grateful that the owner of the shop that's fixing Poe right now lent me this. Because it's also nice, because where I am right now, it's triple digits. <laughs> and um, this rig has AC, so it's been, it's been nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so nice to me. Your niece wants to know if you've seen any venomous snakes. Tell Ellie I have not seen any venomous snakes. <laughs> no venomous snakes or snakes yet, but um, my dad keeps, or dad, our father, Christian, keeps telling me that I need to get rattlesnake um, anti-venom on hand for blue, so I do need to do that. But no snakes yet that I've seen. You should put AC in Poe. A hundred percent I need to get aftermarket AC in there, but that is a lot of money and I just spent so much money. I don't even want to talk about it. It physically pains me the amount of money I just spent on Poe. So I'll do that in a few months, maybe. Why is it getting fixed? Because there was stuff broken. Swivel, swivel seal, swivel ball, wheel bearings. Um, I also need to replace my shocks and my struts eventually as well, which is lovely. I'll probably just do that all at once this summer because I got it. I have to have all of that done before Alaska too. So perks of a 26 year old vehicle, you know, seen any bobcats or mountain lions? I have not. When am I coming to PA? When I do my uh, East Coast run, probably in like a year or so. Did you break the seal while doing the climb with the off-roading group? I think so. Yeah, that, I, that's when it slipped. Probably from me just not knowing what I was doing, honestly. Hi, Amy. Sending love from Arizona. Well, sending love from Arizona right back. <laughs> all that happened in Moab? Yeah. It did all happen in Moab. But also I knew that when I was uh, off-roading, I knew the risks of it, obviously. And me being a noob, like I'm probably gonna break more stuff on Poe the first few times I go off-roading just because I'm still learning the technicalities of everything. And so I'm a lot rougher on Poe than like an experienced off-roader would be, you know? So it's all my fault, but I knew it going into it and you gotta learn sometime and off-roading is what I'm gonna be doing a lot of, so. It's okay, I knew the risks. I'm not upset about it. So then, Christina said, sending love from me and my daughter. Sending love right back. You guys are so nice to me. Oh my gosh. You guys, I've been in kind of a funk lately. So you're, I feel like you guys are really helping me out right now. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm trying to read this so fast. Why off-road when there's so many places to go <clears throat> on-road? Because I like going off-road. I think it's fun, and I think you can get to prettier places that people don't usually get to see. 
Brenda, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I appreciate you. You don't have to give me money, but thank you. That's so sweet. I'm always in a funk. That's funny. I mean, not funny. I hope, I hope you get out of your funk, but that cracked me up. Have you heard any more on the mama dog and pups? It broke your heart. Your little girls say hi and they love me and Blue. We love you guys too. Blue says thank you. Um, no, unfortunately, I went back that next morning to look for the mama dog and the puppy. And they weren't there. So it's like they just, I have no clue where they went. Um, I hope I get to see them again soon and rescue them. I totally would, but I just, I can't, I didn't find them, unfortunately. Evelyn, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys are so generous. Is your dad and brother here? Christian's in here. I think my dad is popping in later. Unless he's just watching. Which if so, dad, make yourself known. Any off-road training courses near you? Um, yeah, I actually was going to go to one in Colorado, but because of things happening with Poe, I couldn't. So I'll have to find another one soon. Has Christian roasted you yet today? Of course he has. It's It would not be a normal day without a good roasting from your older brother, you know. Favorite places to camp in Michigan? They're pretty much all up north. My favorite one might be the one that I found underneath the Mackinac Bridge, which you can find on the um, Upper Peninsula side on I Overlander. It just like literally look for the one that looks right by, like it's right by the bridge. That's really cool. Um, there's a ton around Mark. Okay. Oh my gosh, CA0341, thank you. You guys are so generous. You don't have to send me money though. Please don't feel like you have to. But I do appreciate it so much. I just... Poe is the truck, yes. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's been like an update to the live on my end and it makes it so much harder for me to see these comments. Ow, I just hit my head. What's your favorite town in Washington? I don't know. Trey! Oh my gosh! Thank you! You don't need to send me money though. That is so generous. Holy cow! You guys, please, please don't feel like you have to send me money though. I feel really um, guilty. And I don't want you guys to think when I talk about spending money, like all of the money that I... I'm not in any way trying to like bid for any donations so just please know that but thank you so much holy cow that is so generous that was so nice of you trey thank you holy cow buy spares from uk yourself yeah i am trying to keep as many spares on me as i can I wish someone in the area of the stray dogs could go help them. You have so many viewers. Yes. Yeah, so you guys, I, uh, I don't, I can't talk about it too much yet because I don't have any plans nailed down, but I do have stuff in the works for those stray dogs. Um, I'm going to be I'm trying to think of how I want to word this. I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to be doing something for the stray dogs and I'm in talks with a bunch of people actually talks in talks with some of my subscribers as well um who are gonna come help me with this effort so it will probably be being posted in a few weeks but i'm still nailing down details so i don't want to like say too much Did Poe break down? He didn't, he didn't break down. He had a seal leak that I found and I went to go, um, I have like blue hair in my 
face. I went to go um, do an upgrade to Poe, like an opportunity came up for me to get something done that I've always wanted to do to Poe. And so while that was getting done, I was like, hey, can you fix my seal for me while you're in there? And um, they were like, oh, all of this other stuff is wrong as well. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I had no clue, but thanks. If you could just fix that too, that'd be great. So yeah, that's kind of how that happened. Presley, welcome to the um, members fam. How are you doing today? Thanks for asking, Cliff. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well. Would you ever consider going to the Me going to Mexico with the Defender in Blue? Yes, I would. Although my father and grandfather do not want me to because of safety, but I could, I would. I don't think we've ever seen you have a fire while camping. Yeah, I have. I've made a fire quite a few times while camping. Um, I'm trying to think of like what videos there were. Okay, Blue, lay down. Lay down. Blue is very sassy today. But I have made fires before. Yes. The defender would get jacked so fast on that border. Yeah, I don't know. Can we see outside the rig you're in? Yeah, I guess I'll go show you guys, but here's the thing. There's so many bugs outside. I'm scared of them getting into the cab and then I have to sleep with them all night. But yeah, anything for you guys, yes, I'll go show you. But we're gonna be dodging. We're gonna be dodging these mosquitoes, okay? Because when I tell you, I have never seen bugs that thick. Like I've seen them here. You guys will see on the video I post next. Wild. Okay. Hold on, bub. Stay in there. I'm gonna shut blue in really quick. Un momento. How do I turn you around? Pretty cool. What do you guys think? Is that enough? Do you want a little walk around? You know what's really cool that he has on this Tacoma is a vent. I need to get that installed on Poe. But yeah, this is it. There's so many bugs. Oh my gosh, get away from me. So yeah. Okay, Blue's whining. It's no defender. That is true. Okay, let me see if I can get in here without getting any bugs. Ah! Okay, so far, you're not going well. <laughs> Are we clear, Blue? Did we do it? We might have done it. You know what? I don't see any. So, lay down, Blue. Lay down. Thermocell? I know. I need to get one. Lay down. What's the coldest and hottest temperature you've been through so far? Great question. Coldest? Negative 12. And then hottest would be 110. In Moab in like 2019 or something, I think. Can Blue sleep up in the cabin with you? Yeah, I actually put him up there a little bit ago to see how he would like it, and he was very anxious, so. We shall see how he does at night, but he gets very whiny. Like, I, I don't know, he just doesn't understand, I don't know. What do you do with Blue in those hot temps? Um, to be honest with you guys, when temperatures are, are that hot, I usually get like a, a, I can't talk right now, motel. Or something like I just get the cheapest hotel around me because I am not gonna play with Blue's health. So if I think he can ha he can handle it, um, like last summer we were in like 104. Where were we? Idaho, Wyoming, something like that. And um, 
he was okay. What did I do? I don't know. But he seemed fine, so, like, that was okay. But if he's ever overheating, I just leave and go into town. Your dog is always the most important thing. They rely on you for everything in their life. So, like, please don't ever see me in temperatures like that and think, like, it's just okay for your dog. Your dog might not be able to handle that. Always put your dog first. What happened to the Defender? He's in the shop, and this is my loaner vehicle. But we get Poe back tomorrow, so. I think, anyways. Poe was supposed to be in the shop for a week, and then I think I've worked it out to get him back tomorrow, but we'll see. Either tomorrow or, like, Saturday. Poe shizzle? That is the funniest thing I have heard. Steven, thank you. Thank you so much. Should we go up here? Let's have a cha change of scenery for a minute, shall we? Sun setting. Do you see the amber lighting? Whose truck is that? It's the uh, owner of the shop who's fixing Poe right now. It's his rig. And this is my uh, loaner vehicle. So, lucky me. Bubby, lay down, please. This dog today, you guys, we are fighting so heavy. It's one of those days that I'm like gonna set him free in the woods and be like, good luck. Lay down, please. Down. Like I love blue with my whole heart. Oh my gosh. Bye Shannon. Blue kind of is the boss. He really does run my life. <laughs> but, yeah. You look high to me. Drugs are bad. Just saying. That's hilarious. Um, I have never smoked a single thing in my life. So, Take your false information off my live, would you? Jeez. Jeanette, hello from Tucson. You're real close to Poe. Have you always traveled solo? Yes. Any YouTuber you follow that you would also travel with? Um, That's a good question. I don't know. I'd be open to it. Your hair is on point today, thank you. Alpine Tundra Overland, hi. You guys, thank you for saying my hair looks good. That's so nice of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Have you ever met a subscriber? Yes, I meet you guys on the road all the time. All the time. When I was in Texas and New Mexico, it was like multiple times every single day. So. Then I went to Moab and I, I didn't see anybody for like three weeks. But then later I found like a bunch of comments where people were like, oh, I saw you in Moab. So I guess they just didn't come up and see, say hi, but. I love meeting you guys on the road. It's so, it's like unreal to like see real people that I know your guys' usernames online and stuff. It's just crazy to put a name or a face to the name. Where's your dad and brother? My brother just um, peaced out. He had to run and I think my dad is coming in later. Would you put a bigger lift on Poe? I might have to, according to the shop that's working on him right now. Did 
did you tell your dad and brother you were going live? I actually never tell them. They just show up. Streaming Eagle, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but I actually did talk to my dad earlier today, and I told him, and he was like, oh, I'll tune in later. So, Alaska plans? Yes, this summer. Russ, thank you. When are you planning on coming through North Carolina? That'll be on the way... When will that be? That'll be probably next spring i'll start doing the east coast stuff do you ever miss rue for sentimental value but not for functionality you have to make more videos listen frank i'm trying okay <laughs> i'm trying canada will be on the way to alaska i know it did it sucked that we miss each other when i was in albuquerque I was there for a while, too. Is my dad already in here? I haven't seen him. He might already be in here. I miss so many comments when they... Sometimes comments for me, you guys, like, don't come in all... Like, they all come in in groups. Like, it'll just chill, and then it comes in a group. So I miss a lot of people. Do you like Idaho? I love Idaho. I low-key, high-key would buy a cabin in Idaho. I'm just saying. A little home base... I would love to purchase something in Idaho. I love it there. The sawtooths, any day of the week. Isn't Papa Reckless your dad? Yeah, is he, he must be in here then. I haven't seen his comment. I know it is funny that my dad and my brother aren't moderators or members. <laughs> They're just trolls, you know? I love them though, so much. Where's my father? I haven't seen him, you guys. What's he saying? Besides Michigan, which state do you enjoy the most? Honestly, probably Idaho. Anything out west, though. Colorado is always near and dear to my heart. Um, I love Red Rock Country, like Sedona. It's always good. I'm sure once I get to Alaska this summer, that'll be my new favorite. I'm the best YouTuber. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. What a high honor. What's your favorite go-to meal while traveling? Oatmeal. Oh, you guys, we should probably start cooking soon. I haven't eaten in at all today yet, so. Sorry, guys, hold on. Let me catch up on some of these comments really quick. Do you keep moving or do you stay in the same place for a few days? It depends on the situation. I've done both. Are you married? I am not. What is something you wish you learned in the beginning before starting your car life journey? Ooh, if I could go back and talk to 2017 Maria, I would say less is more. As far as stuff you need to bring with you, you always overpack and you don't use half the crap you bring with you. Um, and really, uh, focus on car maintenance, like pre-maintenance checks. Yeesh. That's what I would say. The bunker scene playing Careless Whisper is so memorable. Thank you. You coming to San Diego? I actually am in a little bit here a little bit i have some video ideas for california i'm really excited about i actually have um i have a lot of friends in socal so i'll probably be in socal for actually quite a bit of time presley thank you so much oh my gosh you guys are so generous what the heck? I have like the most kind subscribers in the world. I swear to God. Like you can't tell me this community isn't the nicest out of any community on YouTube. Shout out to you guys. I should put my glasses on. I can't see anything. It's like hard for me to read.
You're looking forward to seeing me in SoCal. Thanks. I'm excited to be there. Southern California, like San Diego area, is one of my favorite places on earth. So I can't wait to go back with Poe. It's going to be really cool. You set the bar. That is, I'm going to cry about that later. That is so nice of you to say that. You guys don't realize my love language is words of affirmation. So I really remember like stuff you guys say. Keeps me going in the hard times, you know? I really appreciate it. When our week falls around your videos, stop. You guys are funny. There's no way that's true. <laughs> Will there be a Romeo Reckless fan meetup? I hope so. I Listen, you guys, I would love to do one. I just don't know how to organize it. So if anybody has any sort of idea of like a safe idea of what we can do, let's figure it out together. Scott, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna cry. Stop. Hello from Scotland. This is your year for 100K. You guys, I hope this is our year for a lot more. We, I have huge goals for the channel. I'm gonna be switching things up just a little bit. It's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. I've been feeling like creatively pushed to do something different for a while. Like same, same thing, but just like a little... You guys can probably tell it in my editing recently. Like I'm just starting to like get more into me and the way that I want my content to look. I think for a while I was just doing what I thought YouTube wanted me to do. And now I'm like, I just can't care about that. I have to be fully me as <laughs> like dramatic and corny as that sounds. But you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more personalized like content coming from me. And I'm pretty pumped about it. Ed, thank you. Thank you so much. Brady, thank you. Did you order a drone yet? I did. I did. Defenders don't need upgrades. Wait till you see the upgrade I got. You guys are going to be like, heck yeah, that's nice. How much did it cost to import the Defender? I don't know specifically because it was wrapped in to my, uh, to like my entire cost. Frederick, thank you. NC, thank you. What dog food do you feed blue? We're actually in the middle of testing out one right now. So if it goes well, I'll let you guys know. Have you ever been to Slab City? No, but that's so funny you say that. I was talking about Slab City uh, not too long ago. Like, literally today. Where's your microphone? It's downstairs. Love what you're doing with the pups. Thank you. We're, um... We're gonna do we're gonna do some big stuff for those puppies, that's for sure. Plans for Portland. I'll be uh, Pacific Northwest bound this summer, so but I did hit it last summer too. <laughs> You're driving to Alaska now. Watch out for the caribou on the highway. You almost hit one today. Good to know. Blue getting steps? Um, eventually, yeah. Until then, I'll just pick them up and break my back. Are you considering getting a buddy for blue? Maybe. Should I? All right, you guys, let's cook. Let's cook, shall we? Will you ever go to Maine? Yes, I have been to Maine. Um, I went to Maine the first time I did the 50-state road trip in 2017, and I loved Bar Harbor. It was great, so I'll definitely be doing that again. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Have you been to the Wave in Arizona? I haven't. From what I understand, you have to, like, apply, and it's based on, like, a lottery. What's on the menu tonight? Shrimp tacos. You guys want to help me do this? Your editing lately has been killer. Thank you, Sarah. I have been editing recently the way that like I really like to. <laughs> I think it's funny. 
I think sometimes I leave a lot of my humor out because I'm like, okay, not everybody finds this stuff funny like I do, and it's just like, let's get to the point of the video. But, um, oh, there are my glasses. They're by the shrimp. But I feel like when I'm more myself, the more I like it, so I'll be doing that more lately. Oh, these are still, like, frozen. The intro to the last video was hilarious. I'm glad you guys like it. I liked it. What's your nationality? Italian, Spanish, Greek. And I also have some, like, Vikings in there. Anything, honestly, that's, like, super aggressive or hot-tempered. That's what I'm made up of. It's not a new truck. It's um, it's a a, a len, le, rental a lender vehicle. What would you call that? Why am I dumb right now? Okay, shrimp tacos. Let me turn on this light. Is that a little bit better? Loner? Yeah, okay. You guys, these shrimp are half frozen. Can I use them? Is Raul in the chat? He's the chef. Can I cook these when they're half frozen? If you're in here, please tell me. <laughs> yes? My defender is getting fixed if you're just tuning in. Yes? Okay. Well, okay. I, you guys, I, I barely have anything with me because everything is still in Poe. So, um, first love you've ever tuned into. Um, welcome. Spanish women are hot tempered. I think I'm only hot tempered with my family, to be honest with you guys. Like, I'm never usually, like, I just, I'm so calm and, like, don't care about stuff unless it's, like, one of my family members. And I'm like, okay, now we're about to box. <laughs> soak them? I can't. I can't. I, don't, I have nothing to soak them, you guys. Any trails you want to drive as a bucket list matt i just saw your question i would love to do black is it black bear pass in colorado the really dangerous one i really want to do that one what's for dinner shrimp tacos the pan is really hot okay how long do these cook for should I, should I heat up the tortillas before I do the shrimp or should I, I need somebody to like walk me through this. Shrimp needs to be soaked in cold water. Well, listen, they were frozen and then they're defrosting. So it's kind of like it is sitting in cold water. Do I heat tortillas up before shrimp or no? Tortilla last? Okay. Shrimp first. Got it. Is it are they on low or high? Because these are already pre-cooked. These are... Yeah, these are pre-cooked, so I just need to heat them up. So, just like medium heat? Somebody? Medium heat? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I saw one person say that, so I'm like... Heat tortillas last. Got it. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what I don't have is oil. <laughs> Awkward! Um, I went to Poe today in the shop and just like grabbed what I could. Shrimp will turn pink when done. Okay, yeah, I have no oil. Papa Reckless is in here? Where? Let me try to find him. Maria makes sunny... I don't even know what that means, Dad. 
my dad is saying that I can't cook, which we all know. You know, you know what's funny about that? My dad is an amazing chef. And I just am absolutely useless. So. Low and slow. Okay. Here we go. I'm just doing what you guys tell me. This is what I love about lives is I don't have to plan anything and you guys can just teach me what to do. So this is amazing. Okay, Blue, I need you to lay down, bud. Lay down. Lay down. Here, lay down. Lay down. You guys want to see how Blue is sitting right now? Half on, half off. Okay. Let's do this. You think her dad is mean? Wait till you see Christian in here. That's so funny and also so true. My dad knows that I'll get a little bit mad at him if he's too mean and Christian doesn't care. Oh my gosh. I hate when he does that. You guys. You like turn on the propane and it doesn't light. Oh my gosh. This whole truck is going to explode. It's lighting too, so what the heck? Hold on, you guys, I'm trying to catch up on stuff. My dad said I quoted The Godfather and you're clueless. You're dead to me. I couldn't read it, Dad. It's too fast. Jeez. You're dead to me. That's so funny. Okay, it's not empty. It's full. Oh my gosh. It scares me when it does that because I feel like... I feel like it's gonna light the whole thing on fire. Should I just keep going? It's gonna like burst. Cause all the propane is like up in the air. I don't have a lighter. Opening a window. Ugh. We're gonna get bugs in here, but fine. Okay. Oh my gosh, the door swings open. FML. Oh my gosh, 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 you guys! It smells like propane in here! And there's bugs outside! You guys, I can't. This is just real life. There isn't a lighter in here. You guys, I don't have any of my stuff with me. This is a borrowed rig. Bend it down a little, is that what you said? What the heck? Unscrew it and reconnect it. I don't think that's gonna do anything. I'm scared. Yeah, I see a spark. I don't have a different bottle. I only have one situation for tonight, you guys.
What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Light it outside? Ugh. Have the door open. Go outside, that's too much propane. Okay, we're going to get attacked by mosquitoes. Here we go. Okay, I'm using just a little propane. I'm going as fast as I can. What the heck? You guys, this is ridiculous. Turn on high to light. It's on high. Mike, thank you. It's like broken. I did turn it on high. It's not working. I don't understand. Hold on. You guys, what the fuck? This is live TV at its best. I'm gonna be so screwed if I can't cook tonight because I haven't eaten all day. And I'm like an hour and a half up into the mountains. So I've gotta make this work. Oh my gosh, there is a spark. <sighs> Pup, I don't have a lighter. Give up, you're screwed, that's hilarious. I can't make a fire, I don't have a lighter. I don't, this is a borrowed rig, you guys. I don't have one. Okay, I wonder if I should like pinch this down. That looks, well, let's see. Oh my gosh. What do I do? All right, I'm getting eaten alive by bugs, so I'm going back in the rig. These bugs can get bent. Blue, come. Come. Hustle. Oy. I'm screwed. I don't know what to do. Anything else for dinner? I don't have anything else. <sighs> like, do I have to cook these? They're already pre-cooked. So I can eat it cold. That's gonna be so gross. I don't understand. Someone said put the pan on to dissipate heat. So we'll try that. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Un momento. If I had Poe, I'd be fine. I'd have like a lighter and 
stuff, but I have nothing with me. I literally, like, stopped at Poe today to pick up this stuff. Blowing on it isn't going to help. Guys, truck lighter for what? <sighs> what do I do? All right, fine. I'll go. No, stay in here. Ugh. You guys, this is such... A roaming reckless life. All right, let's see if he's got anything in the truck. No lighter. Yeah, no lighter. Matches, there's nothing. I don't have foil. You guys, I have nothing with me. Nothing. No cigarette lighter either. No lighter inside the glove box. I'll check his drawers, I guess, back there. Like his... No cigarette lighter, nothing. We're screwed. I'm gonna starve tonight. We're screwed. Nope. Nearest town is 90 minutes away. Which sucks. I don't understand why this isn't lighting though, because this there's a f get up. Lay down. There's a spark. There's a hundred percent a spark. You know, I almost bought a protein bar at the gas station today, and I didn't. Why didn't I do that? Clean sparker. I can see spark, yes. Cl push it down closer. I did that, but that didn't help. Okay, well, let's try this. Turn the gas down. And 
it is connected. I did try moving the gas as I clicked the button. I did disconnect and reconnect. This is the scariest live cooking you've ever seen. So true. There is no truck lighter. You guys, this has never happened to me like this before ever. There's not a car lighter. <laughs> you guys, what do I do? Ugh, maybe I should pull the spark thing out. Like, it's really pushed down right now. You know? This sucks. I think if I can't get this together pretty soon here, I am just going to have to, um... Eat cold shrimp tacos, you guys, and then you can watch me suffer through like that. That was like hard to bend. Alright, now it's out, so maybe the. I just turned the spark thing out way more, so maybe this will help. I mean, heck yeah, sorry. <laughs> heck yeah is what I meant. <laughs> you guys, this is awesome! Okay. You guys, how exciting! Okay. I think one of my things is bent, so let's hope this doesn't fall. Here we go. I know, you guys. So exciting. I love it here, the vent in here. Oh, I should turn this on. There's a vent on and working. I don't know if I even need this many shrimp, but we're just gonna send it. Don't shrimp uh, shrivel up when they cook. Whose truck is this? It's the uh, guy who owns the shop that's fixing my Defender right now. So this is a loaner vehicle if you're just tuning in. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Do you, you guys, do I season these while they're in the pan or no? Do I wait till they're out? I know that was intense. Season while they're in the pan or when they get out? Somebody tell me. Yes, yes, okay. I got this everything but the Elote seasoning from Trader Joe's and I heard it's really good. Has anybody tried it? Let me know. Season them now, I am. I am. Shrimp is gross, I think shrimp is good. Let me give you guys like an actual view. Oh my gosh, this seasoning smells so good. love this fan thing. I don't even have to open the door. Going ham on that seasoning? Well, yeah. You guys, I don't think it was that much. Because think, you got to mix it to the other side. <laughs> Dang, you guys are roasting me. I'm supposed to like stir this or turn them or I don't know 
I guess I should have probably asked you guys, but I'm just out here winging it. Okay. Were you doing a... Will you be doing a birthday live stream? I yet didn't think about it, but should I? My birthday is coming up. Oh, crap. Tomorrow's May, isn't it? That means my birthday is in less than three weeks. Dang it! I don't want to get older! I don't want to get older! I don't want to get older! I'm gonna be one of those people that like clings to their youth, you know? I'm gonna be 29. I'm 28 right now. My birthday's the 29th. Or the 29th. My birthday's the 19th. I will be 29. Yes. And it's like the weirdest age because being in like your early and mid 20s, you're like, I'm still a kid. And then you get to your late 20s and you're like, holy crap, wait, I'm an adult now. And so I'm freaking out because it's my last year of my 20s. I'm, I just, I'm stressing. And my brother also knows it too. And he just tells me I'm old all the time. I'm not already 29. I'm 28. I'm going to be 29. It's so, it's so funny. My mom always says that too. That age is just in your mind. Okay. Uh... You look 5'11". How tall do you guys think I am? Really quick, you should put that in the comments. Because everybody gets it wrong, and I'm always so curious why you guys think I'm the height I am. I don't look 28, 29. How old do you think I look? Five eight, five five, five seven, five six, five four. Oh, you guys are actually pretty close. Six feet, five nine. Six foot five, ding ding ding. So funny. No, I'm um five five. You look like Courtney Kardashian. Oh my gosh, thank you. That is the biggest compliment ever. Everybody always thinks I look really tall, but I think it's because um, in the fall and winter and spring months, I wear my boots, which are like, give me an inch and a half heel, you know, like the, they're really tall. And so, um, but it's funny, every time I meet subscribers in person, they usually say I look, or that I'm shorter than they thought I'd be. Everybody thinks I'm like 5'10", but I'm not. And then everybody also says that they think Poe is smaller than he looks on video and that blue is bigger than he looks on video so funny enough okay i mean the point of this is just to heat these up right like i'm not there's so much water in here can i heat the tortillas right on the flame on a propane flame do we think or do i have to do it in the pan I can do it directly on the flame? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. You guys, I'm actually getting hungry. Both? Okay. I'll do it directly on the flame. Just say you're 25 for the fourth time. I'm, I'm dead ass. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start doing that. Sorry, I keep like accidentally swearing a little bit. Yes, on the flame, just be careful. Okay. Shrimp is ready? Okay. I'll turn this off. Sorry, I don't mean to have a potty mouth. It just, you know... Listen. Listen. 
it just happens sometimes a little bit on accident, you know? Why did I just turn off the flame? Oh, I need another helmet! You guys, let's try this again. Oh. <laughs> God bless! Came right back on, okay. Let me heat up my tortillas. Sailor 5.5 mile. Listen. Leave me alone, okay? You know what my mom always says? And my mom is the most diehard Christian lovely woman who does not sin or swear or she's like the most precious angel baby ever. Like that, that my mom is, oh my gosh. Like we all could just pray to be like her. She's so amazing. And whenever one of her kids accidentally swears, you know what she says? She says, who's, who said, who says, uh, those words were meant to be not good words, you know? Who says? They're just words. So. And that's straight from my mama's mouth. You know what I mean? Me just trying to justify anything. <laughs> oh, this is burning. Crap. Mm. Okay, this is not going the way I wanted. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to do this in the pan, you guys. Cause I'm, I think I'm burning this. And how do I get the edges? Ow! <sighs> I wish I had a chef here. I am not a chef. Okay, I'm kind of doing it. I'm just like, it's just hard cause it's like only doing the center. Ow. Better to use the pan, yeah, but there's... You know what I'm trying to avoid is the mosquitoes outside, and I don't want to have to dump the water out of the pan. <laughs> so that's why I'm avoiding it. You think I'm so entertaining? Thank you. That's so nice. I think I'm just a hot mess, and people like watching me struggle. Okay, I think this is, like, all right. Like, it's like, oh, I heat at the center. <laughs> Whatever. It's good enough for me. Okay. Ow! <laughs> you know what I just realized? Crap, I got a lemon to put, like, citrus on it. Well, I was gonna get a lime, but they didn't have individual limes at Trader Joe's. And, um, so I got a lemon, but I just realized I don't have a knife. Cut, you guys. I am a struggler. It's I was born and raised a struggler, you know? So, it is what it is. <sighs> Bite the lemon? Oh my gosh, should I? That's so funny. Whoever just said it's El Milagro Tortillas, it unfortunately is not. It's Trader Joe's. Struggle is real here, I know. You can peel it like an orange. Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. Hot Mess Express is the funniest. Yeah, that's me. I should make merch that says that. Poor Blue. He's like your guys's, like tell their dogs like your guys' owners or, you know. Not strugglers must be nice. Aye. Okay, whatever. I'm turning this off. Okay. Let's dish this up, shall we? Oh my gosh, I lost a shrimp. Blue will have to get that later. Okay, you guys. What am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? I do have, a, I have avocado too, but I just realized I don't have utensils. Uh, here's what I have for the sides. I have slaw. 
because everything online said to do it with slaw. I have pico de gallo. I have a lemon and I have an avocado. And then I have this. I have jalapeno sauce from Trader Joe's, which somebody said is really good on tacos. What do we think? What do we think? Oh, hold on. I'm trying to catch something really quick, you guys. <clears throat> Sucker. How long have I been roaming? Since I started in 2017, took a couple years off during COVID, and now I'm back at it. Okay. I know, I do, usually I do carry a pocket knife, you guys, but like I said, everything is just in Poe right now. And I, I guess I wasn't thinking when I stopped to get like my cooking supplies, I was just like, oh, all I need is this. Um, the jet boil stuff, so. I can't believe I'm gonna do this on live right now. Should I do the lemon or just the avocado? I think I can just like, ooh yeah, I can just get into this one. But then how am I gonna? How did I not think to grab silverware? I know there are a lot of creeps out here tonight. Plastic spatula, oh my gosh, you're a genius. You're a genius. Yes, yeah, so avocado is what we're doing right now. I have to be careful that blue doesn't get into this. Okay. Whoever said that, you're so smart. So smart. Okay. Do you think we could skip the lemon, guys? I think we can skip the lemon, yeah? Probably. I don't even know that I need this pico. Cilantro, yes or no? I like cilantro, I just don't have it with me. Lime would be better, but they didn't have individual limes at uh, Trader Joe's. Howdy from Texas. Okay. You guys, honestly, this is turning out pretty well, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, I'm kind of proud of myself. For me, you guys, this is pretty, for me, come on. This is pretty good. I love Trader Joe's. That, that is good. Woo, it's got like a kick to it too. Oh, I'm so glad I just drenched the tacos with that. Oh my gosh, you guys, we've been here for an hour and 15. Sorry. I didn't mean to uh, keep you that long, but look at it. Pretty good, yeah? I wanna try one of these shrimp. Listen, pretty good. Not gonna lie to you guys. Bubby, what are you huffy puffy about? All right, you guys. I feel bad that I kept you an hour and 15 minutes on the live. I feel like that's 
so, so obnoxiously long. How do we feel about these tacos though? Rate them for based on my skills, okay? What do you guys think? Eight out of ten. I'd say that's pretty fair. I think for me, it's it's high up there. I think if any of you guys tried it, you'd be like, this is terrible. But for me, it's not bad. Cool. Five stars. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, you guys. We can let you go. I'll get to eating. I, uh, Lisa, thank you so much. Um, I don't want to keep you guys like an hour and a half, you know? Let you get back to your day. I have to taste it on live? Okay, hold on. I feel like it's like weird to like eat on live. Hold on, I'll try it off camera and I'll let you know, okay? So you're not like watching me. Hmm. I think it needs lemon. It looks better than it tastes. It looks better than it tastes for sure. Woo! 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 You guys, this is a very special live tonight. Like this is, I feel like one of the craziest ones we've had. Salt, you're right. You are right. It does need salt. Salt and lemon. Sauce is super good. If you like spice, if you like a kick, 100%. But if you don't like spice, you're not going to like it. Alright, you guys. I'm going to eat these tacos. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate you. I can't wait till um, the live in May. The live in May, I think. Hmm. I'm not going to claim anything yet, but that one might be a little different. Thanks for helping me, you guys. You're the best. Ooh. We'll see you next month's live, unless you're a member, and then we'll see you next week. Say bye, Blue. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Bye.